encourage you to join with us in prayer. As I said, avail yourself to the resources we have there. We've got books that those are for sale. You can get those. But the newsletters you see up there, those are free. Just take them. Pray with us. Pray for us. And agree with us. Uh, I'll be in Argentina next month ministering. Wow. We've got invitations uh, to the Philippines. We're working on an invitation to India right now. Different nations. People that are hungry. People that need to hear the truth of the gospel. And we just are honored and humbled to serve him as ambassadors. And we would love to represent you and the nations of the world if you wanted to join with us. Uh, different ways you can do that through prayer. Uh, prayer opens doors. And also, of course, through finances. It takes money to get the gospel to people. The gospel's free, but it takes money to get it to them. And uh, that was the great Dr. Billy Graham that said that, but it's so true. And so if you are interested, I've got some partner packets here. If you are here today and you just say, hey, I'm interested, this doesn't mean you're committing to anything. But you're just saying, I'd like some information about how I can join hands with Blessed World Outreach and take the gospel to nations of the world, places that maybe you can't go personally. Maybe you wouldn't go there. <laughs> you know, I know people, they're, they're kind of homebodies. And God makes different people with different callings. But you can reach people right where you're at on a day-to-day -day basis, mm -hmm. but through your giving and your prayers, you can be part of, of what we showed in the video, of people receiving Jesus by the hundreds in nations where they maybe never even heard his name before. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so if you're interested in that, just raise your hand, I'll get you one of these uh, packets, or maybe someone could help me with that, just to hand these out to people. Uh, if you're just interested in, in, like I say, it's not a commitment, it's just saying, I want some information about that, and if uh, I've got a few there, if we run out, I've got more information at the book table. But pray about that. And uh, I believe that it's always God's will for every believer to send the gospel around the world. Now, whether that's through this ministry or another ministry God puts on your heart, that's for you to decide, uh, you know, according to what you hear from the Lord. But just prayerfully consider what God would have you to do today and align your priorities with God's priorities for the Great Commission. Amen. Amen. So praise God. Uh, with that, I'll, I'll hand it over to Pastor Kennedy. And let's just continue Turn it in the presence of God today. Back home. How many were touched today? Yeah. Amen. How many were inspired today? Yeah. God is good. All the time. God is good. Good to you all the time. Praise God. Such an honor to be with you. And uh, look forward to the next time I'll be able to be with you again. Praise God. We love you. Praise the Lord. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Did you? Oh, thank you so much. I read your prayer book. You gave me that one last time. It was excellent. If you want, a good book on prayer, but very, very good. And uh, I read through it, and uh, it was excellent. Praise the Lord. Uh, Michael is a uh, very good young man of God, and... Uh, great potential there as you uh, stand with him in prayer and as you uh, support his work then I know that great things will come to pass in the years to come. Mm -hmm. He's already doing great things but uh, he's young enough that even greater things are yet to come and we appreciate that and his heart of uh, ministry there and uh, he's a word of faith brother that uh, believes what the Bible says and doesn't try to water it down. Praise the Lord. We are in agreement with that. Now, we don't generally receive an offering at this church. Um, that's not to say that we don't receive tithes and offerings. We receive our tithes in the box in the back for the church, for the expenses of the church. But we don't pass anything around unless we have a guest speaker. And when we have a guest speaker, we do pass the plate. And uh, if you are giving cash and would like a tax receipt, if you're giving a check, make it out to the church, FICC, and we'll pick it up automatically and get you a tax receipt. But if you're giving cash and want a tax receipt at the end of the year, then Michael or uh, Andrew here will give you a, an offering envelope. And just raise your hand if you need an offering envelope for a tax deductible receipt. Um, if you would own that, be sure to put your name and address where I can send you the receipt and how much you're putting in that offering. All of this that you're fixing to put into the plates here goes to Michael. You don't have to specify it. 100% goes to Michael Lusk, and so it doesn't have to be 
You don't have to state on there to Michael on your check or whatever. We'll know. It is separate from what we receive in the box. So as, uh, as you prepare yourself for the offering, let's uh, have a word of prayer over it. Father, we thank you, Lord, for Michael coming our way today. Thank you for the great work that he's doing in Thailand, Argentina, and around the world, Lord. Thank you that we can have a part in what uh, you're doing through our dear brother. Thank you, Lord God, that you speak to our hearts now what we're to sow, what we're to give to support this work, Father. And Father, we thank you for it. We know, Lord, that as we give, you multiply it both to Michael and to the ministry that he's involved with, and of course back to us, Lord, that we can give to others. For it's written, Lord, in your word that you said you'd supply seed to the sower, that we would have an abundance, enough, more than enough, Father, for every good work. And so we take you at your word, Lord, and we give accordingly today. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Now, gentlemen, if you would receive the offering, then uh, I will talk to you a moment here. We um, we have coming up on the, I believe it's the 20th. There's a little calendar in the back to tell you. If you ever want to flip through what's coming up, you don't have an internet. We have it on the internet, but if you don't have an internet, you can just flip that calendar back there by the door. But I believe it's the evening of the 20th. It's Ron Brewer that has the country gospel singer. He'll be here that evening for ministry. Ron Brewer. And uh, he is a, a country gospel artist and very good at what he does. And so we invite you to make plans to come for that. Then on the 27th of this month, which is a Sunday morning, Rich Cristiano will be back with us. Now Rich is the one who has written and produced and directed many well